Saturn transits to Aquarius on April 28th. That's its house of wish fulfillment and gains. That's what we talk about today. Hello everybody, I'm Tina Chari. Welcome to my channel and a very warm Namaste. Before I move on talking about Saturn, I have to introduce one thing to you. And that is now from now on, for starting from this video, I'm going to give you one astrological tip that improves your lives um, or improves things in your life. And that's for universal tip. That's a universal thing that everybody can do, make a change immediately of things that we do daily that can improve our lives or improve things in a certain way for everybody. So stay tuned. I'll talk about the tip in just a little bit. So Saturn is going to transit into the sign of Aquarius on April 28th. Now, normally Saturn stays in one house for two and a half years. It's the slowest moving planet. So it stays in the same house for two and a half years. So it's been hanging out in Capricorn for a very long time, but it, for some reason it's going to move into Aquarius before it's two and a half years are up. It's only going to stay in Aquarius till July 11th. It's only going to be in Aquarius up to one degree of Aquarius and then on June 5th, it's going to start its retrograde motion and start moving back into Capricorn. So it's only literally going to be in Aquarius for three months. Now, I think it's a wonderful transit. And the reason I think that is because understand this, that Capricorn and Aquarius are both owned by Saturn. So um, they're both its own houses. So it feels very comfortable in both houses. But one of the reasons is that Aquarius is the Muldrakon Rashi of uh, Saturn. Now, what is a Muldrakon Rashi? When a, um, when a, pla a planet owns two signs, then one of the signs or one of the zodiacs, it favors that over the other. So it means it gives a little more better results in that uh, zodiac. So in Aquarius, Saturn tends to give better results. Capricorn is the 10th zodiac sign of a generic birth chart. The 10th house uh, denotes your career and the hard work that you put into your career to get your basic needs satisfied in your career. But Aquarius is the 11th house of the generic birth chart. And the 11th house denotes a lot of better things, which means your gains, your desires, and your wish fulfillments. So when Saturn is in your 10th house or in, in Capricorn, it gives you things related to your job, you know, getting, your, getting a job, getting basic necessities out of your job, working very hard to get the basic necessities in your job. But in Aquarius, when Saturn goes into Aquarius, it gives you things above and beyond of what you get from your job. It's your desire fulfillment. It's your, it's your wish fulfillment and it's returns, your gains from other things besides your job, more above and beyond of what you expect from your job. So that's why I consider this a very benefic transit is because Saturn is moving from Capricorn, the, the zodiac sign of very hard work, your job and your career into the house of wish fulfillment, your desire fulfillment and returns on investments or return on your hard work. So one of the important things about Saturn is that it has uh, been blessed with uh, the aspects with three times, three aspects. So it doesn't just aspect the house across from it, which is most planets always aspect the house that it's seventh from so that's directly across from it but uh, Saturn has three aspects so it aspects the third house from it the seventh house from it and the tenth house from it so it always aspects more than just the house that the zodiac sign that it sits in so when it moves into Aquarius it's going to aspect the zodiac signs of Aries, Leo, and Scorpio. So those are the houses that are also going to get aspected by this transit. So if you have planets in Aquarius, you have planets in Aries, Leo, and in Scorpio, those planets are also going to get impacted by this um, transit of Saturn because Saturn's going to start aspecting those houses as well. One of the other factors that you have to consider is that Aquarius is not only ruled by Saturn, but Rahu is also considered the co-ruler of Saturn. Now coincidentally, or maybe not so coincidentally, Rahu has transited into the sign of Aries just recently. So um, not only is Saturn going into the sign of Aquarius that's ruled by, co-ruled by Rahu, it's looking at Aries or it's aspecting Aries and that's where Rahu is sitting. So now this three month transit from April to July that um, Saturn is going to be in Aquarius. Rahu is going to get activated a lot as well. And so people 
that are uh, under the influence of Rahu in a Dasha, Mahadasha, or in any other way are going to get impacted by the Saturn transit because, like I said, Rahu is going to play a very big role in this transit. It's not just Saturn that's playing a role, but Rahu is also playing a role. Now, when I said that it's going to move into just one degree of Aquarius, right now Saturn is in the nakshatra of Dhanishta. And it's going to stay in that nakshatra, even though it changes the house to Aquarius. And Dhanisht is ruled by Mars. So, and don't forget, Aries ru is ruled by Mars as well. So now we have the impact of Mars that's going to greatly influence the world as well as all of us. So now do you see all the other planets that are coming into play? And I also said that the uh, Saturn transit is going to aspect the sign of Scorpio. And so Scorpio is ruled by Mars as well. So now do you see all these planets that are getting impacted are always Rahu and Mars and then Saturn. So this is not just a Saturn transit where you figure that it's only going to be Saturn and the impact of Saturn, but also if people that are undergoing the impact of or under the impact of Rahu, which is North Node and Mars in their charts are also going to get very deeply impacted by this impact of Saturn's transit. One of the most important parts about this transit is that um, Saturn is going to aspect the sign of Scorpio from its 10th aspect. And if you had watched my video on the Jupiter transit, I had mentioned that Jupiter from its 9th aspect is going to aspect the house of Scorpio as well. So with, in these three months, the house of Scorpio is getting aspected by both Saturn as well as Jupiter. And this, the double aspect on Scorpio at this time from Saturn and um, Jupiter is extremely important. Why? Because Scorpio represents uh, is the eighth house. So Scorpio is the eighth house of of the generic birth chart and it represents hidden things. It also aspects majorly it impacts transformation. This is the time, this three months is the time of transformation for all of us. It signifies a lot of transformation in the world. It signifies transformation for all of us. This is also a time when you can take advantage of this, this energy of transformation that's in the universe where if you want to transform your career, yourself, or as just something about you, um, it's a wonderful time. You should just go ahead and do it because the universe will support you. The, this energy of transformation will support you. If you want to change your career, you want to change your job, you want to change something about yourself, you should just do it in this three months because the, like I said, this energy of transformation is so profound right now. It will support you. The universe is asking that we transform ourselves from the negative challenging times that we have been. We've become so challenged in our thinking. We've become negative. We're tired. We're exhausted. And to transform into more positive, more wonderful, more peaceful people. And so even if that's the challenge, the transformation, you do, please do that transformation for yourself. Take advantage of the beautiful transformatory energy that the planets are also asking us to do. Now, what predictions can we make for the world and for all of us during this transit? So one of the things that, you, you know, we could possibly predict is that new things or new um, technology things come up in the, in the world because Rahu is getting activated in the sign of Aries and, you know, via Saturn. Saturn. So Saturn is the um, significator of our careers of work and um, Rahu signifies uh, technology. So uh, new things can come up in the world, new innovations, new research. Now if people are starting uh, wanting to start something new uh, by way of business or by way of or looking into research or starting some new research projects related to research or um, new business relating to actually any business but if especially if the business relates to you know rahu related business or saturn related business so saturn bus related business could be oil natural gas um you know iron leather you know those kind of things and then a uh, rahu related business is related to technology ma mainly you know computers software those kind of things so if you're looking to start something new this is a perfect time to start now what's the main uh, uh, lesson we can learn what is saturn really trying to teach us at this time based on this uh, transit now uh, we all know i think we all know by now that saturn is the the planet that denotes our karma it keeps track of all our karma good karma and bad karma as well so if we've been good wonderful uh, you know you get the benefits you get the results if you've done the hard work that it's asked you to do if you've done it honestly and you've done it with good faith with a good heart this is a wonderful time because now you'll reap the results of it if, if you've kind of not had the best karma going on in the last few years, 
there may be some challenges, but you know what, you can still improve it because I always believe, look, it, you know, today is still there, tomorrow is still there for us to change our karma. So this is also a very good time to start doing good karma. So you kind of start getting the results of it or maybe negating some of the bad karma. So it's a wonderful time to, to reap the benefits of your prior karma. And if you haven't been had the best karma going on since the last few years, now now's the time that where you can change it and do some wonderful karma. And what could you do? Uh, one of the best things you can do is make donations. You know, you can donate to um, anybody, people, you know, individuals, you can make donations to individuals, you can help out families, you can help out people, you, even helping out somebody to get a job is a donation and especially it's a very wonderful donation for Saturn because Saturn donates career and uh, denotes careers I should say so helping somebody get a job helping uh, people with you know people that are very low level that are very needy with money or with food or whatever so any kind of donation is wonderful like I said even helping don't forget that Aquarius is a sign of networking and friends and helping so if you can help somebody it's a wonderful time to do that. It's a wonderful time to, to gain some of that good karma. Do it with a good heart though. Don't just do it because you're selfishly trying to get good karma. Do it with a wonderful heart, with a pure heart and a pure soul. It's a wonderful time to do that. So that's what Saturn just peaked into Aquarius. So it teaches us a lesson and, and you know, almost tells us, have you learned the lessons, what the pandemic taught us? Have you learned to appreciate others? appreciate yourself. What are you going to do to help mankind? What are you going to do to help everybody now? That's what this wonderful three month transit is for. Please take full use of it. Look, uh, you change your karma, do good things. And then Saturn is the best giver of people that have positive karma. Before I move on, I want to just make one point that I haven't mentioned about the Sare Sati, which is the seven and a half year, uh, you know, transit relating to Saturn that affects certain moon signs. So I can't talk about that in this video, otherwise it gets very long. I will probably try and make another video about it later. And here's my helpful astrological tip that works for everybody. And it doesn't matter where your planets are placed in your birth chart. But if you do this, it will help your, help your life immensely. So here we go. Now we all know that a lot of us, especially women, buy lots and lots of shoes and we all have, we can never have enough shoes. I know that from myself, love buying shoes. Now, if we put our shoes in a certain place and they're all in a mess, so sometimes we tend to throw our shoes just in a pile. Sometimes we wear one, we wear the other one and they just, they just keep piling and they're all in a pile somewhere. Somewhere in the house, they're all messed up in a pile. Now this, this giant pile of messed up shoes, it could be everybody's shoes, the whole family's shoes, all of these untidy mess of, sh of shoes denotes the negative energy of Saturn. The one thing you can always do is keep your shoes in a very tidy manner. And the best thing you can do for yourself is if there's shoes that you're hoarding, that you're not gonna wear, or there's broken, you know, old shoes that are not that you can't even wear and you just haven't been able to clean out and throw away, you should do that immediately. Because all of these denote the negative energy of Saturn and hence give you very bad results in your career or anywhere that Saturn is placed in your in your chart, but definitely in your career. So take a few minutes someday in the near future, clean up where all your shoes are, throw out all the old broken shoes or shoes that you don't wear anymore. If they're good, you can donate them. If they're bad and broken, please throw them out. And if you haven't worn them in a very long time, trust me, you're not gonna wear them now, just throw them out. And organize your shoes where they're very neatly kept and you'll see the difference in your career right away and keep them like that. Or if you continue to mess it up, continue to keep it clean and you'll see the difference in your career almost right away. And that was the tip. I know it sounds simple, but it's magical. Try it. Now I'm going to move on to predictions, but my predictions, let me just mention, are based on your ascendant sign or the zodiac that's the first in the first house of your birth chart. It's also called the rising sign or a lagna in Hindi. So that's what they're based on. It's also based on Vedic astrology, which is sidereal astrology, and it's not the Western astrology, that's tropical astrology. That's what they're based on. And of course, their general predictions, they're based on the transit of Saturn alone. And so, you know, 
the main results or actual predictions of every person are going to be very dependent on the dashas and antar dashas that you're running and also the actual planetary placements of every birth chart before i move on with predictions please let me remind you if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and if you like the video give me a like and please do share it with friends and family aries aries saturn is going to transit in your 11th house and the 11th house denotes like i said gains it also denotes, d denotes returns on investments or return on your karma, so to speak, and also your social circle. So this is a very good time for your career. It's a very good time for financial gains. It's a very good time for um, income. So you'll see a lot of good income. You'll see better income, I should say. If you were looking for a raise, this might be a wonderful time that you get it. But one of the things that it's going to do, it's going to slow down your network circle. It's going to slow down um, your friend circle. So you may not be uh, so, uh, you know, meeting so many people right now. It's going to slow that part of the 11th house down. Now it's going to aspect the first, fifth, and the eighth house. So the first house is you yourself. And so there's going to be maybe some transformation. It's going to give you the desire to transform or you might transform your whole body. You know, you might want to start a workout or you might want to change something about your yourself the fifth house is going to give you some challenges with your relationship with children and your love life so you have to be very careful to maintain them well so make sure you take good care of your relationships with love life and children as well now the eighth house is the transformation house so i've already said that the transformation could be about yourself and your career so this is a very good time for a career it's a very good time to transform yourself do something different with your physical body to look better present yourself better and overall this is a very good time for you uh, as far as c uh, career and finance is concerned watch your relationships closely with everybody make sure you don't you know you don't become standoffish or you don't become aloof from them so sometimes sta uh, when you're under a saturn influence you kind of tend to become aloof and you tend to become dry by dry i mean just you know not so interesting you know so you kind of lose interest not like a ketu losing interest but like a saturn saturn just kind of becomes you know boring so you don't don't become boring keep the interest going in your relationship taurus Taurus, Saturn is transiting in your 10th house and it's going to aspect the 12th house, 4th house and the 7th house. So the 10th house denotes your career. It's going to do wonderful things for your career, meaning if you're looking for a job, you're going to get it. If you want to change your job, you can get it. It's literally going to ask you whatever you want in your job and you're going to get it. I've already said this in my Jupiter video that this is a wonderful time for the Taurus individuals and they've not had such a good run in the last couple of years and now this is this these transits have now come to make things better for the Taurus individuals they'll see how their luck changes now so the career is going to be wonderful for uh, Taurus individuals at the same time the 12th house getting activated so the 12th house <laughs> is denotes expenses so as soon as Taurus starts to make money they start to feel good about themselves they're going to start spending money and it's going to be pretty the urge to buy luxury items is going to be strong. The fourth house gets activated and the fourth house is real estate. It also uh, denotes luxuries, ex um, you know, big ticket items like a car, housing, you know, changing or renovating um, your house, something to spend on the house. So you're going to start doing that in these four months um, or three months and you're going to want to do that at least. So buying things for the house, maybe even relocating and buying real estate. If, if Mars is supporting that, you might even do that or might want want to do that and start looking at things to do that it also could also mean that you um, want to relocate for your job sometimes a lot of people will relocate for their job if both the 10th and the fourth houses are activated and the 12th house is activated you might actually relocate for your job as well now the seventh house is getting activated so there may be some challenges with your um, marriage partner and um, your business partner although it's good for business if you want to start a business it's going to be wonderful but there may be relationship challenges with your uh, with your marriage partner or business partner so stay very cognizant of the fact that you want to stay good terms with your marriage partner but it's a wonderful time for your career it's a wonderful time if you want to start a business and it's a wonderful time for all professionals in general for Taurus. Take full advantage of this transit and um, do things in your career that you want it to do. Start anything that you want in your career and it's going to give you very good results. Watch that spending though. Gemini, 
Saturn is transiting in your ninth house. The ninth house denotes your luck factor, your guru, your dharma, your long distance travel, and your father. And so Saturn is going to um, aspect from the ninth house, it's going to aspect the 11th, 3rd, and the 6th house. Now it's going to be very good for returns on investments. It's also going to be good for you know if you want to do any dharma spiritual practice religious practice or you want to go on long distance travel it's also very good for that otherwise you need to watch your health a little bit because the third and the sixth are getting activated now i'm not saying anything is going to be wrong with your health but i just think saturn's going to make you feel like there's something is wrong you it's going to be make you feel very low on energy that's what saturn is saturn's a very slow moving planet so when the third and the sixth are going to get activated it's going to make you feel like you're low on energy and you don't feel like doing anything it kind of gives you like a laziness factor the fact that you don't have too much energy you're not very gung-ho about starting new things so that's the impact Saturn's going to give you it's going to just kind of make you lazy not want to do anything so if you want to get over that that's what you want to do one of the best things you can do the Saturn remedy is to make sure you get up and do a good workout regimen and that kind of overcomes that feeling the other thing the ninth house denotes is your guru and your dharma. So you can do some good meditation practice. You can start, you know, make sure you stay true to your dharma, whoever it is that you choose to believe in. You can do some good mantra practice, any mantras that you like to do or you, you know, you feel good about. You can do those to overcome this feeling of uh, the fact that you're not feeling well. The general feeling that you're going to feel is that you're not well. But there won't be anything wrong with you because it's the third house telling you you're, you don't have any energy. So I'm not saying that the, you're going to be sick. I'm just going to say that you're going to feel like you're not well and there may be nothing wrong with you. So just take care of your energy factor. Make sure you eat well. Make sure you, you work out well. Otherwise, it's going to be a very good time for investments. It's going to be a good time for return on investments it's going to be a good time for your luck factor as well as long as you keep moving you know if you're going to get lazy you know, saturn doesn't like lazy people so as long as you keep doing the hard work you keep a good physical regimen your luck factor is improved watch your father's health though so um you know keep your luck activated by doing some good physical work you know keep yourself physically active and don't tell yourself that you're sick because you're really not it's just saturn kind of playing games with your head that you're feeling a little lazy. The third house also um, denotes your relationship with siblings. So make sure you don't start fights with them. Make sure you stay good with them. Take care of the relationship with your siblings. Otherwise, the transit for Gemini uh, ascendance is okay. Not too bad. Cancer. Cancer Saturn is transiting in your eighth house and it's going to aspect your 10th house, your second house and your fifth house. The eighth house is a challenging house in some ways but it's also one of the things like i said it's it's a transformation house so this is the three months you're going to transform yourself saturn will force you to transform yourself and what is the transformation about the transformation is mainly about your career and your finance so you're going to do something or you're going to try something to transform yourself related to your career at work. It could be relationships at work. It could be how you handle your career. It could be your job. It could be your position. It could be something related to your career. There's going to be some transformation in it. You might even change your position at work. So there might be some change and it might be sudden because the eighth house also denotes sudden things that happen. And it, the eighth house and the 10th house getting activated at the same time denotes relationships at work. You need to really pay close attention. You need to keep your head down and work if you don't want to make any changes at work. Otherwise, things could go bad very quickly. So you need to watch for that. The second house is getting activated. Transformation regarding your finance is also possible. Also something to do with your uh, food that you eat. M make sure that you eat whatever you're eating agrees with you. Um, because whatever you do eat can actually make you sick because the second house is getting activated at this time. Relationships with family is also, <laughs> you need to watch for that. I can't think of anything good to say for cancer. I'm sure I will. Um, it's good for money. So the second house denotes finance. It's a wonderful time for finance unless you're going to wreck your career in some way. I'm sorry, I have to say that. Unless you, you know, really wreck your career in some way, it's a very good time for finance for you guys. The fifth house is getting activated, which is relationships <laughs> with your children. Make sure you stay good with your children. So I'm so sorry, cancer people, but I'm just going to have to warn you that your relationships are up for change, are, are going to be um, 
a little chaotic at this time. You, relationships at work, relationships with family, and relationships with children. Is anybody left? I, not many. So all your relationships need to be nurtured during this time. And so for you guys, you know, it's a good time for finance. It's a good time for career as long as you can manage your relationships. So do you see where I'm going with this? So manage your wor relationships at work. Don't let things go out of control. And the eighth house is getting activated so i'm warning you the food that you eat could make you sick your relationships if you don't manage them to work could make you lose your job too so i'm just telling you keep your relationships and your food in control during these three months otherwise I, the eighth house anything can happen uh, things that you don't like or things that you do like could happen too you know the eighth house is just transformation it could be good transformation it could be bad transformation it depends on you this is solely depend on you because remember i said saturn is the is the significator of karma so it this is whatever you do is what you're going to get so this is based on you make sure you take all the right steps don't don't fall prey to the eighth house sudden things and get things out of control Make sure you watch everything very closely. This is three months is, is going to be life changing in some way. Leo, Saturn is uh, transiting in your seventh house and it's going to aspect your ninth, first and fourth house. The seventh house denotes your marriage partner, business and uh, your business partner as well. So this is a wonderful time if you want to start a new business. Uh, it's a great time for that. You'll get very good um, investments. We, return on investments and you'll start it be very good start because your ninth house is getting activated the ninth house is your luck factor so this is a good time to start new business it's also if you're looking to get married you're single then it's a wonderful time to do that because the ninth house gets activated and that's your guru dharma spirituality so it blesses you you know you, it blesses your marriage at this time now the other things that are getting activated is your first house which asks for transformation so there's going to be some sort of transformation in you yourself this this transit will make the leo individuals transform in some way the transformation could be in relationship to your spouse and the way they are or it could be relationship to your fourth house which is your domestic happiness the house or your four walls of the house there could be some changes in maybe your residence or how you where you're living it could it could change the environment of your house there could be some environment changes in your house as well i don't see a relocation for the leo ascendance but some changes within the four walls of your house will happen and how you deal with it or how you live with it in your daily routine there's going to be some changes in your daily routine to spending and it impacts your spouse's income as well at this time so or your spouse's career as well your spouse may change their career as well where does the transformation for Leo happen? With the relationships with their spouse and in their home environment is where the transformation or change. There will be some change in that. Otherwise, it's a good time for business. It's a good time to, if you're looking to transform yourself, this is a wonderful time to do that because the ascendant is being aspected. So it's a wonderful time to transform yourself. If you're looking to do something different with yourself, it's a great time. You want to start something new for yourself. It's a wonderful time to do that. If you're wanting to start some spiritual practice, the ninth house gets activated. It's a wonderful time to do that. Start mantra practice, start dharma, some spirituality, something great time to do that. So it's a wonderful time to start something new for the Leo ascendants. So, um, great time to transform yourself and you know even if your physical like, appearance you wanted to do something different with it it's a wonderful time to do that it will be wonderful if you did so it's a wonderful time for leo ascendants if they want to make changes about themselves but there will be some changes at home in your relationship with your spouse and changes in your daily routine at home um, otherwise it's an okay transit for leo nothing bad will happen but like i said make some changes to yourself make some positive changes to yourself so you see the positive results of the saturn transit Virgo, Saturn transiting in your sixth house and it aspects your eighth, twelfth and third house. The sixth house is a bit of a challenge house where it, you know, it denotes um, loans, your health, uh, competition and also denotes your co-workers or your, the place that you work. So if you if you had loans and you wanted to pay them off, this is a wonderful time for that. If you, like I said, if you had debt, you pay them off. If there was any lawsuits against you or if there was any, uh, you know, court issues against you, uh, this is a great time. Saturn will fight them and then you will win. So this is a great time. So if you had those kind of issues against you, Saturn definitely fights against those. 
Um, if you have a, the one thing you have to watch against is relationship with coworkers because, like I said, Saturn is not a, a planet that you know is conducive to relationships. So you have to watch your relationships with your coworkers. Also, at this time, the sixth house is activated, and the sixth house denotes your health. So you need to take good care of your health. Saturn is a planet that gives aches and pains in the body, especially feet. So you need to take very good care of your health at this time. You can start a good health regimen. You know, a little bit of exercise. You don't have to do anything heavy, you know, intensive or anything like that. But it does, imp you know, there could be some aches and pains in the body, especially lower extremities or the back at this time. So you need to take good care of your health at this time. The eighth house gets activated, which means changes. It could mean transformation of some kind. So the changes could be related to your work as well. You know, they might, uh, somebody at work might ask you to make certain changes. So that's going to happen. The third house uh, relates to short distance travel. You might travel for work because the third and sixth get activated. It means you might have to travel for work during this time. And, but you have to make sure that you check everything. You check all your paperwork at this time because the third house, Saturn, also makes you kind of mess up on paperwork. The third house is communication and paperwork and documentation. So make sure all your documentation is in order. Everything that you want to do as far as communication, your communication devices are in order. Because when you travel, the short distance travel, is signified by Saturn but at the same time your your uh, communication devices can fail during this time you know also so you need to make sure that while you're traveling your communication devices and all your documentation and everything is in order during this transit because it's they're known to fail when that happens <laughs> Saturn looks at it this calls delays and obstacles so make sure you check all those very carefully. Also, the eighth house signifies sudden changes. So there could be changes in plans. There could be changes in the work style. There could be changes at work. There could be changes that it asks for. But again, it, it's mostly related to health at this time for you. So make sure you take good care of your health. Don't do things suddenly to ruin um, your back or your legs. So make sure you don't do extra anything strenuous if you can't handle it because it does denote that you need to take good care of your health at this time. Also your partner's health could suffer at this time too. So make sure you take good care of your partner as well as your own health. Check all documentation carefully. There could be some changes in work. Otherwise it's an okay transit for you. Libra. Libra Saturn is transiting in your fifth house and it's going to aspect your seventh, 11th and second house. The fifth house denotes relationship with children, your love, love life, education, and generally having fun. Now, this is a time when you might be a little concerned about your children's education and you might be very worried about their future or your relationship with your children. So this is a time when you need to build relationships with them and take the steps necessary regarding their education. Um, you know, you might be very worried about them and you might be thinking about that a lot. So this is what Saturn will do. Although your home life will improve because when Saturn moves from the fourth to the fifth house, it's going to be a lot better at home for you. You, you know, in the fourth house, Saturn was giving you a lot of st mental stress at home. And now when it moves to the fifth house, it's going to make it a lot better. Now, it also looks aspects of your seventh house, which is your marriage partner and your business partner. So things might improve with your business partner, but with your marriage partner, you still need to watch your relationship with that very carefully at this time because Saturn like I said is not a planet that co is conducive to relationships it it deals with career it deals with money and finance but it doesn't do well with relationships so watch your relationships with your with your with your marriage partner now it's also looking at your 11th house which is gains from investments and it also looks at your second house at the same time so this is a very good time for gains, financial gains, gains from investments, you might get a raise, you might make more money. So this is a wonderful transit for as far as money, monetary, finance is concerned. It's a wonderful time for that. In fact, you might spend a lot of money as well this time, but you're also going to make it. So this is a good time for as far as financial get returns and gains is concerned. But at the same time, it's a challenging time for some relationships like your children 
you might just be worried about your children and your uh, and your spouse as well so watch those relationships very carefully spend money you're, you're going to spend money on f having fun because the fifth house is getting activated so you might find yourself spending money on having fun with them in order to maintain that relationship which is a good thing it's not a bad thing but you have just to have to do whatever it takes to build that relationship at this time it's a very good time to make financial or make investments at this time as well depending upon your birth chart of of course you can make investment decisions based on general predictions so it generally it's a good time to make investments and it's also like i said it's a wonderful time for finance for you watch those relationships scorpio scorpio saturn is going to transit into your fourth house and it's going to aspect your sixth tenth and first house now Scorpio is also the one I mentioned earlier in my video that the Scorpio zodiac is getting aspected by not only Scorp um, Saturn but also Jupiter. So this is the time for Scorpio to have complete transformation in all ways. And for as far as the Saturn transit is concerned, the transformation is going to be more about the profession and the career. When Saturn transits into the fourth house, the fourth house denotes your mental happiness your m domestic happiness and also your uh, mental happiness and the peace the p you feel at in your mind the minute saturn moves in there it's going to be disturbed it's going to be a state of confusion and chaos at home where you feel that whether it is or not is not even important you're going to feel completely disturbed and very stressed at home above all the sixth house denotes co-workers the relationships with co-workers and the tenth house is getting activated so the most of the stress and the confusion is going to come from work and relationships with co-workers with bosses peers literally everybody it's also looking at your first house which is the first house is you yourself and there could be some health issues so you need to watch for that make sure you have a good health regimen make sure you eat well and the one thing that you can do that saturn also always helps in the saturn transit is have a physical regimen even if it's not an intensive workout regimen something even low intensity helps with this mental stress a lot meditation mantra practice is also something that's really required for the scorpio ascendance at this time otherwise this mental confusion and lack of peace i should say or the intensity of this worry in your head is going to really be high for you um, you need to watch your relationships at work i think i've already said this so watch your relationships at work carefully with your boss with your co-workers there's saturn is going to create some worry there it's going to create some tension there you really need to work on your own mental peace at work and at home and you're going to just try to decide if you need to transform your position or your job or not otherwise it's an okay transit good luck to you manage your worry well manage your stress well and everything will work out fine sagittarius saturn is going to be in your third house and it's going to aspect your fifth ninth and twelfth house the third house is your effort that you put into things and so saturn will make you put that effort in but although you're going to feel quite lazy because saturn is not the um, planet that makes you physically do a lot of work it mentally if you're going to do it for your career it's going to be wonderful but physically saturn doesn't like to do any work so physically you might feel a little um not apt to do things but mentally if you're doing it for your career i think you should push yourself and make make whatever change that you want to do and put the effort in with dedication and with a lot of make make sure you put a lot of self-effort in because there's a lot of gains to be had because your ninth house gets activated the ninth house is your house of luck your dharma and so you, the more effort that you put in the self-effort put in that more the karma the positive karma comes back in uh through the ninth house it activates the ninth house so the saturn actually can't control that ninth house the saturn has no can't give you bad impacts to the ninth house because that's controlled by jupiter so jupiter and the luck factor is activated at this time so short distance travels long distance travels third and ninth house is definitely possible now the 12th house gets activated and the 12th house is the house of expense and so the urge to go out and spend on everything and anything is going to be very great so 
watch that urge if you don't want to spend money you need to control very tightly because there's definitely that urge is going to make you want to buy a lot of things everything and anything inside because the 12th house is a very powerful house it wants to make you spend money if you are feeling not so well prior this house the, the fact that saturn has moved from the second to the third house is going to make you feel a little better also it could make you feel a little recovered i know the Sa sagittarius people haven't had the best of feeling the health feeling in a long time but this uh, transit is going to make them recover feel a little recovered actually it's a good transit for the Sagittarius because it's going to make them feel recovered and not only their ascendant lord has moved a place so then they're going to start feeling a lot better now this is not the time to make any investment decisions because the 12th house is very active so I wouldn't recommend that you try to make investment decisions because when the 12th house is active the returns on investment usually are not good you know you just end up spending money and not getting anything back the third house gets activated as well so um with that transit so the third house denotes communication social media it denotes um and writing if you're writing anything for uh, your profession or otherwise so make sure you do you don't do anything negative in the social media otherwise it's going to backfire really really badly so don't put any negative things out there in social media and you know uh, because i talked about karma don't put any negative things out in social media it's going to backfire really bad and if you write something or if you do something in social media that's positive though you know positive things encouraging people or doing something like that it's going to give you wonderful results so try to do that instead of that and then you see the wonderful results you get so the third house activation means short distance travel relationships with siblings watch those don't get into fights with those and the social media and communication so make sure you keep your communication very positive and um you know good for people pure because this is the time for karma related to the third house so um like i said don't do anything crazy on social media it's not going to end well so just kind of watch for those kind of things watch your savings and enjoy the transit capricorn um, saturn transits in your second house and it aspects your fourth eighth and eleventh house what a wonderful time for finance and investments because both the house the second house and the 11th when they get activated then your finance and uh, return on investment and investments gains from investments improve so this is a good time for your finance and investment situation a wonderful time for that so this is a great time your health also is going to improve because if it was suffering because saturn in the first house was on your ascendant uh, house on your body so it's probably making you tired and sluggish but when it moves to your second house it gives you relief so if you're not feeling so well lately your health is going to improve this is great one of the things you need to watch for is your relationship with your family members because now second house denotes your family members as well so watch your relationship with your family members don't say stuff to them that you're going to regret later also just be really careful what you eat because i know you're feeling better but it doesn't mean you go out and eat all kinds of things because the second house you know it's the food we eat so sometimes you might be eating stale food because saturn represents stale food um, don't eat stale food otherwise it could still make you sick eat make sure you eat good food fresh food and stay healthy Overall, this is a wonderful time for Capricornians, such a relief from the past, uh, you know, Saturn hanging out in your ascendant situation. Enjoy this transit. It's really good transit. It gives you a good break. Aquarius, Saturn is transiting over your ascendant lord, ascendant house, I should say, first house, and it aspects your third, seventh, and tenth houses. So the ascendant is you yourself, your body. So it's going to aspect your body where um, sometimes Saturn when it aspects your body it kind of gives you headaches or body aches so you need to watch your health a little bit but it also aspects your third house so the third house is short distance travel relationship with siblings and also your self effort now all of these are going to be a little challenged at this time where you're not going to feel like making the effort you're going to feel very lazy might be because you're having some pain in your legs or in your feet because that's what Saturn does it kind of gives you a little bit of a pain in the body so you know, nothing serious it just causes some aches and pains in the body when it's over the ascendant house so you might feel like that and you might not feel like working so it's that because of the third house being aspected the third house is your house of effort and hard work and so saturn's not going to want you to do that you're just going to be very lazy but it also denotes a lot of short distance travel so you might want to be you might be traveling a lot also um, also it impacts the seventh house now this is a wonderful time for if you own a business the seventh house denotes business so you own a business it's going to do really really well 
also impacts the 10th house. The 10th house is your career. So business and career, it's a wonderful time for that for the Aquarius individuals. It also aspects the 10th house, which is the house of career. And this is the house that Jupiter is also aspecting. So this is a wonderful time for the Aquarius individuals for their career and business. They're going to do really well. In fact, there might be some transformation in the uh, for the Aquarius for the career. Um, they might, you know, change their career. They might want to change their career. Or they might change their job. So there might be some changes or transformation in career for the Aquarius individuals. But one of the things that is guaranteed is this is a wonderful time for them, in as far as business and career is concerned, and the um, the finance is concerned. This is a wonderful time for that. And Jupiter and Saturn both are going to give that. Um, one of the things you have to watch for is the relationship with your partner uh, because the seventh house is being aspected. So your relationship with your partner might be a little boring. Like I'm not going to say that you're going to be fighting because that's more of a Mars thing to do. But Saturn makes you kind of boring or maybe it's a dry planet. So it kind of gives you the uh, kind of makes you very dry and boring. So if you want to keep the relationship good, you might want to consider being a little more romantic or be a little more caring so your partner finds you a little bit interesting and not so dry so you need to watch that relationship with your partner a little bit but otherwise it's a great time for the Aquarius as far as their career and finance is concerned because this is a time of transformation uh, also for them for their individual selves so if there's something they want to change about themselves they want to change their habits from good from bad to good it's a good time they want to change their appearance what a wonderful time to do that so this is a good time to transform themselves and their career Pisces Pisces Saturn is transiting in your 12th house and it's going to aspect your second eighth and ninth house the 12th house denotes expenses a lot of expenses and also investments so you're going to have a lot of expenses or the urge to spend on a lot of things is going to be very great. Investments also, you're going to make a lot of investments and you need to be very, very careful about that because the eighth house gets activated. The eighth house is, you know, sudden changes, obstacles and concerns, worries and stresses. So you're going to be very stressed out as well as, um, you know, there's going to be some worries and struggles in general during this time. You're going to be very worried. You're going to be struggling. You're going to have to work very hard during this time. Saturn's going to make you work very, very hard. And it's also going to give you some worry regarding money during this time. So you have to make sure that you manage your money well and don't spend it all because the 12th house is activated. It's going to make you want to spend and you really shouldn't. So the spending is going to make you worry. So it's better just not to spend it and try to control the spending a lot. The 12th house is also relocation. So some of you might have relocated already or some of you might be in the process of relocation. So that's what the Pisces individuals, I think I've said that in a few months ago that the Pisces, a lot of Pisces people are uh, in the process of relocation. A lot of chances in the past made them relocate. You know, if you relocated, it's a good time. Uh, the relocation will work out well for you. But at the same time, there's going to be more, like I said, worries and struggles at this time. One of the things is that both the 12th and the second house is getting active. So you'll have income, but the 12th house gets activated at the same time. So what's going to happen is that whatever you make, you'll spend immediately. So there's going to be no savings. So you have to kind of watch for that a little bit. I'm going to caution the Pisces people a lot because, uh, or whatever investment that they've made is going to get spent a lot too. So it's not a really good time to make any investments at this time because they'll just lose it all. And so one of the things that they really need to be cautious about is spending and not making foolish investments so make sure you work hard make sure you watch your money very very carefully take good care of your health because the stress can kind of make you a little you know uh, can play havoc with your health not in a bad way but just kind of you know when you're stressed out you're not going to feel well so just kind of make sure you control your stress factor and your spending and that's it for today make sure you have a very good transit i wish everybody the best of luck goodbye for now and see you on my next video.